Hey guys. Um, actually, before I get into this, I was like, yeah. Hey guys. Um, yeah, it looks like it finally came in. I'm just basically going to do an unboxing and uh, take it apart. Take a look in the inside. Uh, I haven't got the chips to roll the chips, uh, the uh, op amps out of, of this amplifier yet. Um, thanks to Cheap Audio Man, I'm going to have to try that. But uh, also, I want to try it with a couple of different power supplies, including a battery. Uh, see how it uh, performs. But this is it. A nice sticker that go on my wall downstairs. Uh, half decent cord. A huge power supply of brick. Now this one is uh, 32 volt at 5 amp. And I'm pretty sure you can use a 48 volt at 7 amp. And uh, the highest voltage is 51 volts. So we'll have to see what uh, it can take. User manual. Pretty, I'm guessing it's probably straightforward. Just show you how to plug it in and uh, everything else. Cool. And the amp, which actually has got some weight to it. I thought it would have been a little bit smaller. It's um, decent size for what you pay for it. All aluminum. Uh, I'm pretty sure from what I've seen on the internet, this splits in half when you uh, take the screws out. Here's the back. And the front, not much to it. I'm really surprised they didn't put a headphone jack on it. It would have made a really nice headphone amplifier as well. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Put it right there. Or what I could do is I could just bolt an adapter with resistors and put it right on the back here. Just plug it in the back. Be interesting to see what it sounds like with headphones. Anyway, um, let me get um, a screwdriver set and uh, take this thing apart. Broke the seal. Um, this splits in half, so basically we just take the top screws off and we don't have to take the whole thing apart. But I uh, still can't get over how well built this thing is. You know it would be really nice is to handcraft some wood to uh, put it on the sides. That would look really nice. Yeah, who knows what I'm going to do this summer. Let's take a look and see what we got. Even the pot on this sink feels half decent. It um, feels like it's been well oiled. It's got a little bit of tension there. So you can't bump it and uh, crank it right up. It doesn't feel cheap anyway. nice yeah that's exactly how I saw it on the online um, it's kind of weird how they offset everything to the side like that it wouldn't center it I mean the PCB goes to end to end here uh, they could have just ran these traces here that go to this RCA's over to the side and move this over weird oh well. I didn't design it um, a few of the things that I'm going to do is obviously we're going to roll the op amps we're going to relocate these capacitors here because they are way too close to that heat sink. Over time, they're all going to fail. I'm going to replace those with audio grade. And then I'm going to leave extra long leads where I can just basically glue them to the side and keep them away from that. Uh, the caps are going to have the plastic removed. And then I'm going to get some uh, uh, copper tape and uh, wrap them in copper. Um, I notice a difference when I do that, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, that's about it. I would love to be able to get an Alps pot in here. But this one doesn't actually feel too bad. 
Uh, most of the time I'll be using this as a tiny block amp, so this will be turned all the way up. Um, the preamp will be taking care of the volume portion of it. But uh, I, if you relocated these caps here, you probably could get a decent Elps pod in there. But uh, I can't be bothered doing that. So I'll, uh, I'm going to order the chips. Uh, I found someone online that um, has a uh, good link to decent um, chips that uh, will actually change the, um, the color. I'd say the color of the sound. Um, right now it would have more of a uh, solid state sound. It, uh, you're changing these out, it gives them a warmer sound which I'm looking for and uh, more headroom so we're we can do those relocate the caps with new audio grade caps wrap those ones in copper um, I might see if I have a bigger heat sink that I could put on it and we'll try a couple of power supplies I'm going to try the default 36 volt 5 amp I'm going to try a 48 volt 7 amp uh, and a few other ones I have laying around including a battery pack. I'm looking forward to the battery pack because this should sound really good with the battery pack. But uh, there you go. Not much of a review. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that buy something like this, take it apart, show you, oh yeah, yeah, and it sounds great, yeah, I haven't even powered it up yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate that. I want to go through, I'll just probably, this will go throughout the whole summer that I'll be doing different tests with this and I'll post my results. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make anything up. So, but I, I'd, I'd like the build quality. And like I said, the, the cheap audio man got me onto this when he was talking about uh, rolling the chips. So, I'm like, cool. That's right up my alley. <laughs> Later, guys.